Hey, Cash. I got overdue house notes, dude. How much longer I got to wait for my money? Look, Serge, I just got a new job, and I'll have some money for you soon. Damn it, you're four months late now. It's like soon is the only word I hear from you. OK, I'm four months late, but check this out. Damn, God made this land for all of us. And greedy people like you want to hog it to yourself and your family and charge all the rest of us for the right to live. Me and my family? Yeah. Cash is I'm your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Opens wide on Friday. Please welcome Terry Crews. <laughs> Even through the suit, you can do that. I, I mean, love this, man. The energy is good. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk into a restaurant, do you do that? Do you make an entrance? No, I like wake that? up like this. You wake dude. up like this. Ah! My wife's like, stop. <laughs> Please, not again. Not again. <laughs> Does it drive your wife nuts oh. when you do the pecs thing? Well, yeah, she's yeah. a little tired of it. She's I had mean, enough I'm, of I'm it. super positive. I'm like a super positive guy. She's like, please, okay, it's raining. Yeah. It's raining. It's okay that it's raining. Stop it. I'm like, but the sun is somewhere there. <laughs> <laughs> that, you, by the way, you had hair in that uh, in that clip. Is that well, did they put that on, or are you able to just grow hair when you want to? Uh, <laughs> I, I am living a lie because I am really not bald wow. at all. Wow, I shave weird. my head every day. <laughs> but see, the thing is, is if it grows in, people yeah. go, who is he? What is that? You know, and people get really disturbed when I, I grow it. So I've been, I've been this way for almost 30 years. That has got to make bald men mad. <laughs> <laughs> It does. To be oh, they do. They look at me like, oh, well, okay, that's cool. Okay, you buying razors? All right, okay. <laughs> well, what can I say? This movie, sorry to bother you, has uh, it's over ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yes. Do you know? Do you know when you read a script like that? Do you know it's going to be good, or you hope it's going to be good, or you have no idea? I have no idea. First of all, first of all, you are not ready for what this movie is. I mean, I, I, there's nothing the, I can really that do. That clip in no way explains what happens later. In not the at all. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even prepare you. You have to see it to understand. But, but I have to understand. You know what? It's the movie you didn't know you needed. And, and what, what I mean by that is that is the fact that, you know, you go to movies and you pretty much know how they're going to go. Right. I, I, you go to the multiplex, you're like, OK, and this is when they're going to get back together, and I'm going to get some popcorn. And you can't do that here. No, definitely not. No, I was reading the script, and I was like, whoa, whoa, oh my god! <laughs> and then I was like, I literally, after I got to the last page, I said, I will pay Boots Riley to be in this movie. I did not want to miss. Did you express that to your agent that you would I pay did. him? I, I showed up, literally, I said, whatever y'all want me to do, I'll, I'll clean, I'll, I'll, I'll really? do whatever we have. This is really independent. And I said, I don't care about making money. I said, I got to make sure I'm in this. Had you made independent films like that before? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, my first experience, I was still playing football at the time. Uh, you know, and as you know, I'm an artist, the whole thing. And yeah. I always wanted to make the transition into film and the whole deal. So me and my friends, we made this movie called Young Boys. And we shot it in Detroit. And this is it, during the off season. This, this, this is during the off season, okay. and it was like around '95, like '94, '95. And my God, man, we got kicked out of locations. We lost actors. We were like, "Where's when's the actor gonna get here?" You know. And I was producing this thing, uh -huh. and all of a sudden, it, it was the most biggest headache, the most pain I ever <laughs> went through. But I was like, "I'm happy. This is how I know." This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Did the movie come out good? No, it was horrible. <laughs> it was garbage. It was garbage. And I was like, and I remember asking people for money, and they were like, this is garbage, though. And I was like, no, but it's, you, you'll understand it once we get the rest of the money. See? What was, and, the, and, <laughs> what was the first, like, big real movie that you did? The first big, giant movie was I was an extra in Training Day. Oh, in Training Day. Was really? unreal, yes. In Training Day, uh, you know, I had, I had a friend who worked on the set. Uh -huh. And he was like, hey, man, look, come down. We got Denzel. We're in the jungle with all these gang members and the whole thing. And Antoine Fuqua, Antoine Fuqua came up to me and said, hey, man, he saw me just standing there watching. He said, you want to be in this movie? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be in the movie. I'll be in the Then he said, take your shirt off and go up to the roof. And I'm the guy with the pigeons and the whole thing and, <laughs> and training day. And then he said, just come back every day and I'll put you around. So I came back for a whole week straight. 
And I ended up in the most iconic scene of all time when Denzel is yelling, King Kong, ain't gonna have nothing yeah. I'm staring him down in that whole scene. All, and my mother flipped. She's like, you're, on the, you're in the Oscars, you're in the Oscars. I'm like, no, I'm not at the Oscars. <laughs> They're playing the clip. Oh, they showed they that They were showing the clip. clip, and everybody was like, that's Jerry Crew. Now, this is the thing. I ruined training day for everybody. Because I was supposed to be this mad gangster and everything. That, that, that's Terry Crews. Yeah, now That's the guy from White Chips. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, that's Chris Rock's father. You know what I mean? <laughs> How could he beat up Denzel? How is this going to happen? Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.